Peace and peace, salam shalom. Peace, salam shalom. Peace, salam shalom. Peace, salam shalom. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody, uh, and thank you for uh, coming out today. I was going to speak very bl briefly because I know Dr. Makajani will be covering a lot of these issues in depth about the health impacts of uh, all this, the twin problems of nuclear weapons and uh, nuclear power. This morning I received uh, communication from the International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War. The president of the Japan our Japanese affiliate, uh, Maseo Tamanaga, uh, was was born uh, he was t and two years old uh, during the time of the bombing of Nagasaki and has devoted his entire life towards treating the victims of the bombings at Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki and Dr. Tamanaga communicated with us how there's been such an upsurge in Japan from an organization of J Japanese physicians who have traditionally looked at the problems of nuclear weapons but not really been addressing the, the tie-ins with nuclear power and reported on the widespread contamination due to the uh, the releases from the various uh, meltdowns and, and dumping radioactive material in the wastewater and talking about that more than 20,000 residents have been evacuated from their homes and that the whole Fukushima prefecture was widely contaminated with radioactive nucleides and now you have a few hundred thousand uh, people, uh, children, ex exposed to chronic low-level radiation. And it's remarkable, not only has this major change happened within a Japanese society, that the Japanese physicians are shutting, are supporting the closing down of nuclear power in Japan. And it's interesting also in this regard that Hidankyo, the group that represents the 10,000 or more still living survivors of the bombings, also traditionally separating the nuclear war issues from the nuclear power issues, just last month have come out also calling for the complete shutdown of nuclear power in Japan, which is a major step for us in terms of looking at the linkages between these two issues. Unfortunately, many of the Japanese people were subject to a massive public relations campaign that was reported in the uh, Bulletin of Atomic Scientists a few uh, uh, months ago that for a population who had suffered the grievous explosions in Japan being given a public relations campaign to sell nuclear power through the, atom, uh, through the Atoms for Peace program. As one of the survivors and one of the people who've been pushing for this change just said, the bureaucracy, industry, and media were able to shut our eyes to the dangers of nuclear power. We let them fool us, even in this country that was a victim of an atomic attack. So I think we have to learn, just as the Japanese people have unfortunately, because of Fukushima, made this linkage for all of us in the anti-nuclear movement, the explicit linkages between the dangers of nuclear power and nuclear weapons because of the waste issues, the impacts of accidents and accidents that happen in a variety of, of plants that we have here. So that's why we in PSR join our colleagues to, to immediately shut down uh, those facilities are on seismic faults like San Onofre and Diablo Ca Canyon and, for the, and to have sh uh, shutdown of those facilities that share the same design faults as those in Fukushima. We need in this country and we are calling for adequate monitoring of food near Japan and to be able to have adequate monitoring of what the incorporation is on our own food and water here as opposed to the EPA decision to shut that type of monitoring down. We know that even though it, it's been reported by industry, there's only going to be a small increase in cancers. We know that there is no safe level of radiation, and all these things are additive, and we can't have, as over a population, any more cancer due to the continuation of nuclear power.
as we know it. We need to take an overall preventive primary health approach that eliminates the massive dangers to us by nuclear power, continued use of fossil fuels. We know where to get the money. Marilia has talked about it from a bloated military budget, $185 billion in uh, expenditures for the nuclear weapons modernization project. I can go on and on, the $3 trillion wars. We here have to understand these connections and be able to take back our society and pay for the things that we know to protect our health, not only here around the world. As Dr. Tamanaga said, we human beings by ourselves invented the theory and technology to create nuclear weapons and nuclear plants. For 66 years, the nuclear age has continued. Now, however, we see the beginning of its slow demise because nuclear bombs and nuclear power plants have failed to bring safety and peace to global human society. We physicians should help them cease as early as possible, and we should do that as fast as possible. Right. Thank you. All right. Dr. Gould.